to all my Libras. So um, let's get into it for y'all. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Um, yeah, if you'd like to contact me for personal reading, my email address as well as the prices are in the description box below. Why are some of these cards upside down? I don't even understand why. Sorry about that. Just checking to see if some cards are upside down. But um, what is up with this? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, some of these cards are upside down. I don't even know why. But, um, here we go. I don't even know how they got that. Way. But um, all right. So let's see what the uh, the Libras have got. The Emperor, Four of Cups, Three of Cups, Hangman, um, Page of Swords, uh, Five of Swords, King of Cups, the Magician, the Ace of Coins, and the Nine of Cups. So, what I'm seeing here for the Libras is... Uh, um. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, um, I see some of you Libras around this time kind of going back and apologizing to uh, people who are either family, past romantic relations, or a combination of the two. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because the Emperor, what's behind you, what's in the past, right? A conflict, tension, pay attention to the way that the emperor is. The emperor has the sword raised, ready to, to fight. Then you have the four of cups. The four of cups is you, right? Giving them the cup, trying to make amends, trying to apologize. Three of cups, pay attention to the cups, right? This is you offering it to them. This is them accepting the apology and making peace, burying the hatchet, so to speak. The emperor, excuse me, the hangman now represents how you don't necessarily know what to do next. You don't have anything planned. This isn't a game. So you just kind of talking with them and kind of let them know, like if, the, you know, ask them if they want to hang out. Page of Swords is, is that them, them being like, yeah, maybe the two of y'all can hang, start hanging out again, right? So making amends between you, family members or loved ones or both. Or I should say past loved ones in the sense of romance, right? And them being like, okay, Five of Swords is about you kind of letting them know what's going on inside of you, what's up, right? Right, your 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 feet, your world of feelings, right? Your world of feelings, what's going on? Um, the King of Cups now is about you trying to really make a legitimate change for. The better the magician is you've been doing the work. Some of you, right? Um, and the Ace of Coins represents, you know, certain people, especially the people who everyone sees that you have changed. But certain people really choose to see it back and kind of compliment you for it because, you know, change is rough. And, and changing, having the ability to admit your shortcomings and stuff like this and admit it and actually change for the better is very, it's actually kind of easy to do, but so many people make it difficult based upon that 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 ego, you know, the, the idea that they didn't do anything wrong, which kind of reinforces my idea of a lot of people are suffering from a level of mental illness because of it. Because admitting that you're wrong is not hard most of the times, right? It's not. Because a lot of the stuff that people don't want to apologize for is things that they, is things that, see, that's what I'm saying. My light burned out. It's things that they can, um, it's okay. It is what it is. I don't really care because I have this. It's things that they can fix. Hold on. Give me a second.
But yeah, just as I was saying, so yeah, it's things that they most definitely can fix. So they can fix this type of stuff. It's just that they choose not to fix it based upon their inflated ego. And one uh, thing is that the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups represents the level of, uh, you know, I should say pride that other people have about you because they're proud of the uh, the changes that you've been making. So they see you as someone that has been making the changes and they see you as someone that's been getting better with uh, time, not worse. So let's clarify the magician. Hold on a second. I'm actually still reading this book. This book is uh, 405 pages long. I'm on page 112. So I'm actually pretty far in. You know, I could get far further if um, I wanted to. Just kind of not necessarily taking my time. But anyway, let's get into it. So you have the Nine of Cups. That book right here, this this book right here, made a lot of, a lot of magic, a lot of grimoire, made a lot of breakthroughs reading this type of stuff. Um, that's that's not a that's not a book for for people who, <laughs> you know what I mean. Some things will happen to you. I'm telling you. Um. So yeah. So to clarify the Nine of Cups, we have the Empress, the Nine of Wands, and we have the Eight of Cups, which represents you, Libras. Um, these people see you as, as, as a person that is, uh, sorry if I could get the card off the page, I mean the table. You, these, these people see you, Empress, which represents Libra anyway, as beautiful, having class, concise, accurate, upright, this is the way they see you. Them, they see you as getting better than them or being completely different. Eight of Cups, they also see you as a person ready to walk away from trauma, right? Unnecessary trauma, which is good because what it means is that you Libras are growing and to the people that you should have already meant to be. Most people don't ever really get there. Because like I said, inflated ego. A lot of times you still mad at you still mad at a family member because they took your jelly bean. You understand what I'm saying? When you were young. It's like, come on, you gotta get you gotta let go of that. Um then to clarify the magician, you have the magician, five of wands, and then you have the knight of pentacles. I'm gonna draw an extra card because you can't define with it with another with the same word right you can't uh define that and then you have the king of swords which represents how the magician is all about like uh kind of being more comfortable with the confrontation enough to actually be able to know what you're doing in the moment so you're not just oh sorry you're not just hauling off going crazy when, so when things become emotional for you, start losing your cool and now start, you know what I mean? Start making decisions based upon spite. The Knight of, uh, the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords um, being very grounded in your approach from now on. Very focused as to what you want to do. Because air signs can be a little bit all over the place because they're air. It's atmosphere. It's everywhere, right? But air and earth do share common ground air air is manipulated by gravity and gravity is ruled by taurus which is not only an earth sign but fixed earth you cannot have air if you don't have gravity you cannot have gravity with without air so earth and air are the exact opposites because they represent the same principle they're just polarities right on the same axis and then you have the King of Swords, which represents this being a situation for a lot of you where um, this is also about coming into your own power. And what that means is, is not being so easily emotionally triggered. So good for you, Libras. A lot of y'all are really making the strides that are necessary to grow up, to do what it is that you need to do. And y'all, this is really going to repay y'all because... Y'all have been really putting in work and y'all have been doing what's necessary. So that's pretty much it.
Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Peace.